y'all how funny motherfuckers. Let me tell you just how low vibrational and pathetic people are. And anybody that fits in this category, please send them this video. If you at any point in your life had to cut somebody off because you needed space and them motherfuckers needed to get their life together because they were um, a toxic attribute to your success and secession in life, then they come back, right? And you're thinking like, okay, well, after this space and things like that, hopefully they'd have been got themselves together and figured it the fuck out, right? Lo and behold, the only reason why these motherfuckers done came back into your life is to low-key be shady and they want to, like, throw a little shit in your face that they think that matters to you, which you really don't give a fuck about. Because, mind you, these are people that you cut off. If I've ever had to cut you off at any point in my life, please don't think that I ever give a fuck about you. That, like, please don't ever think that I give that much of a fuck about anything going on with you or anything that you're doing that I will not cut you off indefinitely and not lose a day of sleep about it. It's just like if you had to cut somebody off because they were not being focused on getting their life together and they needed to get a motherfucking job. And then you reconnect with this motherfucker like some years later. And the only thing they can talk about is their job and how good their job is and the benefits and all of that shit. But you can tell it's like they're not telling you about it because they feel accomplished and they're just happy. You know, like there are certain people that they just be happy about certain shit and they just can't stop talking about it because they are just overwhelmed and overflow with emotions right now. And it, it is not that they're being braggadocious at all. They're just genuinely fucking happy. There's a big difference. You can tell when someone is just genuinely happy and just talking about their happiness versus someone that is being braggadocious and trying to throw some shit up in your face. See, the key is you can't try to fake flex and throw some shit up in somebody's face that they've already had <laughs> before. <laughs> like, girl, you were the hating ass girlfriend that people had to cut off because you don't never have your life together and you can't never get a man and keep a man for whatever reason. Motherfuckers cut you off because they don't like having you around their happy relationships because you don't like being happy for other people. So if these people let you back into their lives and only thing you can do is every five seconds is like every time the person talks to you, it's like you're being braggadocious about the fact that you now have a boyfriend. We're glad that you have a fucking boyfriend, bitch. Like, we're glad. Like, don't keep trying to call us with the intentions on trying to brag about the fact that you got a boyfriend. Bitch, we already had boyfriends. We've already had good jobs. We've already purchased homes. We've already purchased vehicles. We've traveled, like we've actually done shit with our life. Like that's why the fuck we cut you off because bitch, you need to find something to fucking do so you can stop hating on people. So my whole thing is don't think that people don't see you for who you are and what you're doing. Cause I have a very keen discernment. Just cause I don't say nothing to you. That don't mean I ain't peep shit and I ain't about to fix your ass up in a hot second. Again, one thing about me, I'm not no hater. If, like I said, if I cut you off before because you were hating on everybody and their happiness because you didn't have any business of your own when you finally get business, I'm happy for you. Like, you keep trying to tell me that you got a job, you got a man, you got a car, you bought a house. That's what I wanted you to do so that you could feel comfortable and not feel threatened, intimidated, or jealous when you see other people achieving certain levels of success because you don't have shit. Bitch, we want you to have these type of things. But that just, listen, you could always tell a motherfucker who ain't never had shit. You could always tell a motherfucker who ain't never had shit. A motherfucker that ain't never had no jewelry. They get a couple thousand dollars. They go to 
the jewelry store and for the rest of their life they gotta have a ring on each motherfucking finger to show that they got jewelry now to show that they got money to afford jewelry real motherfuckers with money they don't walk around with gold and diamonds on every motherfucking finger <laughs> like do, do y'all understand what i'm saying you could tell motherfuckers who ain't never had shit because people that really got shit they don't act like that like y'all y'all stop with this like fake flexing and all of that shit because motherfuckers be doing that shit with the wrong people y'all be doing that shit with motherfuckers that really be wishing you well and certain motherfuckers don't want to get their life together for them like you you getting whatever it is that you've accomplished bitch you should have did that shit for you you shouldn't have did that shit so you could have a reason to call me years down the line to throw in my face oh yeah i got a man now oh yeah i got a job now oh yeah i got a car now and like you're being maliciously petty well, I can't even be happy for you because I see what energy that you're coming to me with it. I can't even celebrate with you because, again, I'm not no hater. But you're still on this ignorant shit. And I just want you to know, people that go into shit with that type of motivation, the shit that you being braggadocious about, it ain't going to last long. Like, God don't bless no mess. God don't bless no mess. And motherfuckers could feel however they want to feel about me having my discernment and cutting people out of my motherfucking life. Look, whatever the fuck you doing, whatever you said, I don't like it. I don't fuck with you no more and I ain't got to explain shit to you. Bitch, you know what you did. Whatever needs to be gotten together. Bitch, you know what you need to get together too. You know, motherfuckers know, like, people need to stop. This ain't no motherfucking preschool. We all grown. Motherfuckers be knowing what the fuck it is, and people be thinking that they being slick, and you think that people can't pick up on your energy and pick up on your, on your motives. Let me try to tell you something. I am so covered, highly blessed and protected, my discernment be on a hundred thousand trillion because God will beat my ass if I try to operate any way otherwise. So whatever it is that you think that you're doing or you think you being petty, number one, know that I don't give a fuck. I see what you're doing and I'm going to let you do it because it's benefiting you in some type of way and it makes you feel good in some type of way. But like I said, I don't give a fuck because I, I, I done had dick. I done had a man. I done been in long-term relationships. I done had successful jobs. I done had businesses. I still run a business. I still am a content creator. I've owned many vehicles, okay? I, part, I purchased and sold properties. A lot of shit that a lot of motherfuckers ain't doing and have it done. I bought my first house when I was 27 years old. Shit that a lot of y'all motherfuckers in our 40s still can't do. You understand what I'm saying? So I, I don't, that shit don't impress me. If anything, you are just further embarrassing yourself and proving every fucking thing that I said about you. You're a loser. <laughs> Lou who, ooh who, zer her. Bitch, you a loser. You will always be a loser. The way you carry yourself is a loser. The people that you surround yourself with are losers. All of y'all are losers. And that's why I don't hang around. I don't associate. I don't tolerate. And I really don't give a fuck. And people that know me. If I cut my flesh and blood off three, for three, four, five years at a time, don't speak to them. Don't lose a wink of sleep. Don't give a fuck about them. Ain't none of y'all nothing to me nothing so yeah i'm gonna let y'all go ahead and create that narrative with this story and i'm gonna let y'all run around and say whatever the fuck y'all want to say about me and do whatever the fuck y'all want to do i hope y'all have a feliz navidad merry christmas and a happy new year because you won't be seeing me bitch